morning. It is Monday morning and we are here in Beacon Hill Park. To do some collaborative filming with another YouTuber, with Jeff, who you've met before, I'll introduce you when he gets here. But I've had a wonderful start to the week. Every Monday morning I get a new art lesson in my inbox from the life book course that I'm doing right now. I think I've mentioned it like a gazillion times because I'm just enjoying this course so much. And this morning uh, the lesson really touched my heart as they often do every week. It's just, that's an amazing course. The woman, Yen, who's teaching this week, um, she started by telling her story. And her story was that two years ago, three years ago now, she was diagnosed with head and throat cancer. And she had to have this 12-hour surgery to have her tongue removed, tons of lymph nodes removed. Basically, they took her whole head off and put it back on. And now she lives with what she calls a new normal and uh, has a feeding tube and just, I mean, an incredible story of overcoming. So her story, it really touched me today and uh, filled, with, filled me with profound gratitude. And she speaks about how we all have our, our not normal <laughs> in a world full of differences. Or I, I, I've got to go back and look at what the message is exactly and I'll put it on the screen. And I think, you know, this is true for me too. Her story helped me put my story in perspective and I'm sure that there are other stories that you hear that help to put your story in perspective. But we all th go through stuff, don't we? We all have our own stories, we all have our own stuff. And it just really helped me to hear her story today to um, get up and get on with my week. So. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to film with Jeff this morning and we have a photo shoot later on today for some squeeze yoga clothing and uh, I will check in with you later and definitely show you the art project that will unfold from that story. Jeff is here and we're all set up. We're practically set up so we're gonna start filming. He's gonna show some Qigong exercises. Yeah. I'm gonna do some yoga and it couldn't be a better day. I know, it's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So we got lucky. Yeah, great. Good timing. Good timing. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> we have just finished our photo shoot for Squeeze Yoga Clothing. This is one of my new hoodies with a gorgeous lined hood. And look at this, this design. And can you see that it's just started to rain? We've had to stop the photo shoot because it's just starting to rain. But look at this backdrop. That was our backdrop for the uh, photo shoot. So perfect timing. We got as much photography as we could in now and it's pouring rain now. So Trudy and I are going to treat ourselves. <laughs> it's really raining now. So the hair is going to be wrecked. Everything's going to be wrecked. But we're going to go and have um, some nachos at Taco Fino as a treat because it actually, out of everything I do, the modeling takes a lot of energy. I don't know any any of you have ever done it. You will know it. it it's one of the most unnatural things you can do, and it takes a lot of energy out. So nachos, here we come. These are our yummy nachos. Oh, Trini. sorry, sorry. Okay. These are our yummy nachos. Our treat for doing that photo shoot. Thank you for helping me, Trini. You're welcome. Good Wednesday morning. We are on the ferry. We're heading to Saturna Island. It is a overcast day, which is nice because the sun is not going to be in our eyes and we won't get sunburned or sunstroke. And we are just heading out. about coming on a hike with 
a bunch of naturalists so that they know what everything is called. So this is stone crop behind me growing on these rocks. It's just beautiful. So James thinks there might be an otter's den back in here because these are all otter's droppings. Oh my God, could this be any more beautiful? <laughs> We've found heaven on earth, I think. It had to have been a whale. That's a whale for sure. We are moving on from this point now. We've seen some humpback whales, so I don't think it gets much better than that. Okay, we just climbed to this incredible lookout point. It's just stunningly beautiful. It's a really steep drop and Tim and many others in this group are quite nervous about uh, anybody sitting on the edges here. <laughs> this is a slug. I you should think... put your finger there so people know okay. how big they are. They're really big and kind of gross, but oh, see, look how slimy they are too. This is okay. If you're at all squeamish, you need to look away. <laughs> but it's, isn't that fascinating? You can't really see the head of this one. I'll try and find another one on the path for you. There's loads of nettle here. So I would really love to, Tim's just shown me how to harvest it actually. But I'm really not equipped today, or nor is it the right time because we're with a group. But we can make uh, pesto with it, or tea. And I've learned from some people in the group today, of a group that's coming out on Saturday to do this kind of foraging. So I'm hoping to join them and learn how to make teas out of barks and all sorts of things. So I just thought that was really cool. There's just loads of it here. We will definitely be coming back. This has been an amazing day, seeing all the whales and the deer, seals, sea lions, and just all the gorgeous scenery. We are at the gas station at Saturna Point, uh, Saturna Island. It's a roaring metropolis. Tim's getting gas. Tim's gone to figure out where to pay for this gas. This is totally cracking me up. I wish you could smell these roses. They're the flower, the provincial flower of Alberta. They smell incredible. Here we are, open ocean. We're at Club Point now on Saturna Island. Just every step of the way has just been stunning today. We've had the most wonderful day here. Just beautiful scenery all around. Check out this cool place. We're gonna go see what she has. So I ordered a nettle matcha latte. Mm -hmm. So remember I showed you those nettles earlier. This latte is seriously made from those nettles. How freaking cool is that? And it's delicious. Just a lovely treat. I thought maybe I could recreate that nettle latte that I had on Saturna Island. So one of the ladies told me where I could buy ground nettle, but I thought, hey, I have nettle. Wonder if I could grind it myself. So I got my blend tech out this morning and I put some nettle in it and I was able to grind it down fairly well. I just ground a little bit to see. And then I warmed up some I'm going to show you how to make it from start to finish. I just want to test it this morning. I actually think I made a better nettle latte than I had on the uh, on Saturna Island. Uh, so I I made I warmed up some almond milk and agave, and I would recommend putting in a little bit of coconut oil just to make it taste more rich, and uh, vanilla, and then I put in the ground nettle about a teaspoon. I'll, I'll show you how to do all of this. And then what I did was I whirred it up in the blend tech so then it, the nettle's really nice and fine. And also then you get that froth on the top. So it turned out delicious. 
and now I can make nettle lattes at home. So you're probably wondering why you would want to drink uh, nettle. Well, it's got a really high mineral content. It's one of the best herbs you can drink. It nourishes the whole body, boosts your immune system, supports your ur urinary tract, your nervous system, your respiratory tract, your digestive system, and your endocrine system. It helps to fight colds, it loosens congestion, and it opens your bronchial airways if you have asthma or allergies. It counters arthritis, rheumatism, tendonitis, uh, helps with muscles and joints. It's, uh, it helps to reduce blood sugar levels and it's a natural diuretic and it helps to lower blood pressure. So it's one of those cure-all herbs. So it's a great one. It's just very strengthening for your whole body. So it's one that I like to uh, include in my um, herb repertoire. Hello, it is Thursday morning and we are filming in Beacon Hill Park. We're filming Namaste Yoga. We were at Saturno Island yesterday, as you will have seen from the endless video footage that I took there. And we, I just set up and we just ran into Dale. For those of you who watched the Moss Lady vlog, I'll link to it in the show notes if you hadn't because it's, it's amazing. I, uh, there's a Moss Lady in the park here, just over that way. And uh, Dale is one of the creators of the Moss Lady and uh, we just ran into him. He's a gardener here. And so we stopped and he said hello and then we showed him where we were going to set up and film and he, he was, uh, he said, well, you should know that that rhododendron back there is 127 years old and it's the oldest rhododendron on Vancouver Island, possibly in all of VC. And then he was telling us about some of the history of some of the trees around us and there's a nutmeg tree in front of us and an old oak tree behind me that was a gift from World War I. <laughs> so just amazing. He's just a wealth of knowledge. I think you should do uh, history walks and walks through the park. <laughs> so just like that brief hello encounter run in and we, I just gained so much knowledge. Just uh, uh, the people here are amazing. It's a great, I just love living here. So we're going to film. It's a great, uh, class about uh, cherishing your energy and uh, the Vera Par Paramita. We're almost done this Awakening Your True Self series. I'm a little sad but also excited about what's coming next because I have another some other classes and then another great series planned for you. So I best turn this off and get to filming Namaste Yoga 330. I don't know if you remember in an earlier vlog when I showed you little sprouts in a ground. I'm just showing you these now because we'll come back in a few weeks and they'll be bigger than me. Six, they grow to about six feet tall. So just proof that they start small. Of these rhubarb like leaves. And now they are taller than me. So we just finished filming Namaste Yoga and we were actually kind of in front of these. Now this lady's going to walk by so you can actually see. See how they're taller than her? <laughs> She's about the same height as me. <laughs> see? And they're taller than that guy too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we just finished filming Namaste Yoga. The rhubarb-like plant has grown taller than many human beings here in the park. It was crazy freezing cold filming today in the shade. But we got through it. It's a lovely class. You're going to love it. It's a lot of restorative yoga poses. And we are going to go and probably have some lunch now. Hello, dear heart. Beautiful buck. Just going to do mail time. And look at this gorgeous buck right here. At Beacon Hill Park. Okay, so it's meal time. We just went to the post office box and we had to go somewhere else to pick up these parcels too. But this is a postcard from Donna and she said, it's written this way. So, <laughs> dear Melissa, I just finished 327 on patience. Thank you for a great class and a visual treat. Did you sense any nature spirits when you were filming? Hmm. People say they like it when I get personal, so actually I do. <laughs> 
Okay, you're gonna, some of you are going to be like, woo, no, but I do sense fairies around me sometimes when I <laughs> film. Tim is laughing at me. But I, actually, I do sense energy around me when I film sometimes. Um, I see them as a little swirling energy. So there you go. Um, she said, I kept expecting one to pop into the frame at any second. So I'm curious how Donna would see them or what that would look like for her. The, sea, the seals in calm water were lovely and relaxing too. That, so that's at Galantad National Park and that's one of my favorite places to film because it's just so amazingly calm there. She says, thank you for the valuable work you do and for sharing with all of us. Peace out, Donna P. <laughs> so thank you, what a gorgeous, this is from Kansas, what a, go a gorgeous landscape there. So thank you for that. And here is a card. This is from Fiona from the UK. She lives in the same town as Tim's grandparents used to live when they were alive in the UK. Oh wow, look at this. I'm saying oh wow because these are totem poles. Totem poles. They couldn't be here. Oh, she said, thank you for a lovely pampering kit. Fiona is one of the leaders in our membership community, and I sent some of our leaders uh, some gorgeous skin care from Jane Allen, who's another member in our community. She, she has an Etsy shop, that, and she makes some amazing homemade skin care products. And I am uh, waiting, <laughs> patiently waiting for some of mine to arrive too, <laughs> from the UK. So Fiona, you, I'm going to have to ask her where these, these totem poles are from. They could be from here. They're not from Hall. They're not from Hall, no, that's for sure. I had to show you this because I just, Tim and I just stopped at Michael's on the way back. This is going in an art project. <laughs> that was 50% off. You know how they have those 50% off coupons. Okay. Good Lord. I know, this knife, I don't find it so easy to use as you do, honey. This is from Jen Ashton, just across the pond. When I say across the pond, I mean, oh my God, Jen. This is from Jen, she lives in North Vancouver. So when I say across the pond, it's a ferry right away. I'm freaking out because look at, Jen's done a meditation deck of her artwork. She's mentioned she was gonna do that, but man, Jen, you work fast. She mentioned that like, oh my God, Jen. Look at, okay, this is Jen's artwork on her card. Jen, oh my God, you're freaking me out. She said, I'm so happy you shared your Oracle card collection. I'd never seen them before and it inspired me to make my own version. I hope you like them and we'll add them to your shelf. And she says hi to Tim and Trinity too. Oh my God, Jen. Hi, I, Jen. <laughs> I can't wait to, I go crazy. This is going on my spring altar for sure, Jen. I don't want to wreck these. Oh, okay, I got into them nice. Look at the back, Jen. I'm freaking out. I am not so bonkers crazy about Oracle decks, and I've given, I've cut myself off from purchasing them. But so this is like oh, so special. Oh, now there's more plastic. You guys have no idea how. I love the shape of them and the size. Oh, look. Can we open those when we get home? No, we have to look at them now. Oh. Jen, these are gorgeous. Oh, look at these. Oh my God, look. Oh, the bird. Oh, Jen. Jen. I'm freaking out. They're, they're incredible. I love them. Oh, look at this. Okay. You need to give me a link so I can put the link in the show notes. I'm gonna, I'll email you when I get home. Oh my God. I cannot wait to do daily draws with those. Thank you, Jen. Okay, you guys know I've been doing interviews again and I'm pretty sure this is from Shambhala even though it says it's Penguin Random House. Uh, they may be, there must be a division of Random House. And uh, so they're sending me some books of some authors that I've wanted to interview. So let's take a look at what they sent me. Oh my gosh, look at all this plastic. Yuck. Okay, so this is 
Moving into meditation by Ann Cushman. I interviewed her a few years ago. She was the uh, editor of Yoga Journal. And she wrote a novel a few years ago, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Oh, this book I've been looking forward to. Damn, we can read this together. Breathe through this. <laughs> Mindfulness for parents of teenagers. I'm really looking forward to reading this and interviewing her. And then, um, you're not what you think. The egoless path to self-esteem and generous love. Looking forward to this. Uh, I don't. So he also wrote How to Be an Adult in Relationships. This was a, a book that uh, Erica, one of our members, had uh, recommended to me. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Uh, Finding Freedom in Illness: A Guide to Cultivating Deep well-being through mindful self-compassion um, we have a number of members uh, and myself included who are living with chronic illness so i this really interests me uh, okay so we've got more too i can't remember all the ones i requested Oh, I, yeah, this one. Yoga for the subtle body. So that is, should be interesting too. And a guide to cultivating mindfulness in every day when awareness becomes natural. So very much looking forward to reading these books and interviewing the authors. So that's mail time today. A great haul. Thank you everybody for everything you've sent. Especially to, this is uh, Shambhala. Shambhala is a fantastic publisher. Thanks so much for coming along behind the scenes with me this week when we filmed with Jeff and Namaste Yoga. Going to Saturna Island was so much fun. I look forward to more adventures like that. And it's always fun to hear from you when you leave comments in the blogs, but especially getting real live uh, mail. So mail time is always so much fun. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I leave you with these gorgeous rhododendrons from Victoria, BC, another gorgeous day in Victoria, BC. Your presence here is very much appreciated. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here, Jeff. Thank you for having me. And we'll see you next time. Ha, 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 ha.